In the bread dawn hours of one Saturday last September, Shelley Corley's husband and their newborn daughter were being escorted through hallways of a North Carolina hospital. Corley had slipped into a coma during childbirth just hours earlier and some thought it might be time for her family to say goodbye. Her blood pressure was dangerously low, 60-40, doctors later told the family, and her heart rate was soaring, more than 180 beats per minute. Corley was hooked up to what doctors called the last chance ventilator, a machine pumping air into her lungs with such force that it rattled her hospital bed with each artificial breath, her husband, Jeremy Corley, told the Washington Post. But the hospital staff had one more idea to try. The nurses instructed us to strip the baby down and put her skin to skin with Shelley, her husband said. Their hope was that if Shelley could smell the baby, feel the baby, hear the baby, even in the coma, it would give her a reason to fight. They needed her to start to fight. And they thought Hill and Grace Corley, just hours old, might be the only one who could help. They put the newborn on her mother's chest, Jeremy Corley recalled, and the child went right to sleep. We pinched Trillin and tickled her a little bit so that Shelley would hear her cry, he said with a chuckle. When the baby did, her mother's vitals jumped, doctors told Jeremy Corley. He said he was told it may have given her the strength she needed to push through. A week later, Shelley Corley woke up and met her baby daughter, 